Hey, what's the deal, everybody? It's Mike. I'm your host with the most. Uh, another episode of Everything More Store. So today I wanted to talk about uh, returns, right? Should you accept returns or not accept returns? Uh, what comes with accepting them and what comes with not accepting them? Okay, so let's get into this. Now, from my personal experience, uh, there's benefits of both, okay? Me, myself, I do not accept returns because a lot of people like to play games, okay? And not just that, even if it's legitimately like they don't like the fit of something or whatever, you you can't return my time that I put shipping it and do that, do that. Like, yeah, you can return the item and I give you your money, but you can't return the time I spent. And so at the end of the day, we, you know, we're in, you know, business to make money. So reseller. So that's why one of the reasons I don't. Okay. Now, um, one of the good things about accepting returns, you get feedback protection. Okay. So like, let's just say, for example, I buy something from you. You don't, uh, I, I don't like what I buy. I say, Hey, this sucks. It doesn't fit right. Whatever my complaint is. Right. No questions asked. Right. 30 day free return. Ship it on back. Give the money back. I can't give you bad feedback. Well, I can, but they're just going to remove it immediately. So you have feedback protection. So if I say, oh, it never fit right, this and blah, blah, blah. If you accept the return, you have feedback protection. They're not going to give you the bad feedback. And if they somehow slips in, they're going to remove that uh, expediently, immediately, right? Uh, so that's one of the benefits of accepting returns, right? Um, for when you don't accept returns, I find that people are more likely to lie about why they return something. And also they're more likely to open a claim, especially the petty people. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, I had a pair of ASICs, uh, some sort of ASICs, um, jail Kyanos or something like that, right? The more popular style of ASICs. And I sold them to this lady that lives somewhere in the Midwest. I sold them to her. Well, before I even sent it out, she was like, had all these contradicting things that she was saying. Oh, um. Somebody stole my credit card information, but I do love these. <laughs> so, so somebody stole your credit card and bought them for you, or you bought them for yourself and you regret, you regret the purchase. Like, so anyway, I'm like, well, sorry, I don't accept returns or cancellations. Unfortunately, uh, you'll get your item soon. Okay, well, that's fine because I do love them. But somebody stole my credit card information and was going to buy. Uh, I, honestly, I thought it was a bot. I, th I was expecting like them to ask for my email or something. But anyway. <laughs> It didn't happen. And she had a decent amount of feedback, too. So I'm like, this lady's a real person, but she's playing games. So anyway, so she's like, well, what if I wanted to just return it and then I'll buy them later? I'm like, no, unfortunately, I don't accept returns or cancellations, as I said, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I send the shoes. Sure enough, the lady says something about she wants to return them. I tell her again, I don't accept. No, matter of fact, she didn't even say that. She's filed a claim saying that for a return. I denied the re return. She elevate, escalated the elevated or whatever to the highest next degree. So finally, I think I ended up just giving it to her because I didn't feel like hassling because I could tell she was like a lying type of person. She's going to lie. She's already saying something about uh, what she say. I forget exactly what she said, but it, she was already lying. She already got caught a couple of lies by me. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Just give my shoes back. She ends up sending the shoes back. I ended up reselling them like a few days later. But the point is, is that when you don't accept returns, people are more likely to lie. They're lie on your product or whatever and say that it, it's not this and not that. I'll give you another example. I saw the, uh, <coughs> right? I saw the Mitchell and, uh, I saw the Mitchell and S jersey, right? It was a, it's a Chicago Bulls. It was like a real rare jersey. I might even think I might still have it if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so I saw the Mitchell, uh, Mitchell and S jersey. Long sleeve. It's, it looks like a, it fits like a hockey jersey, but it's a Chicago Bulls jersey, right? It's like a mesh, whatever. Anyway, I sell it to this guy. He gets it. He says, hey, I don't really like the material. I'd like to return it. Of course, same thing. You know, unfortunately, I don't accept cancellations or returns, right? So then, you know, he, of course, has some, well, no, it's not right. You have to blah, 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 blah. He's one of those arguers, like, 
if you sell a lot on eBay, you're going to run into a lot of different type of people. He's one of the ones that wants to like telebang and be, just get real aggressive in the messages. And, you know, all right, man, come on, man. Anyway, he ends up like lying, saying that. No, actually, he didn't lie. He just sensationalized. He said, okay, look, the material is cheap and blah, blah, blah. It's not as in the picture. Well, okay, so tell me what's not in the, as in the pictures. He ends up, like, going around on this rant and rave, whatever. And once they escalate so far, you got to remember, we're getting these things for pennies on a dollar. This was my personal jersey. I had it for quite some time. So, I, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so the, my point is, is that people are more likely to lie when you do not accept returns about something not being right because that's the only way that they're going to anybody who knows ebay that's the only way that they're going to get it they're not going to it has to be not as described right if i sell you the shirt i said it's pre-owned gently used size xl blah 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 uh it's made of this material and then you get it and it's the same thing that exactly what i said but you don't like it you that's not an applicable reason for a return unless I accept returns. So now the people that know eBay know that they have to lie and say, oh, it's this, or they might rip it. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So, bam, people are more likely to lie when you do not accept returns. Okay. Uh, also, another hassle of th things that you have to you basically worry about when, you know, accepting returns is that people are going to use it a lot. They're going to, especially if you're selling volume, you know, if you're selling, you know, every 30, every weekend you're selling 30 or 40 items, it's available for them. So just like anything else, if you have a public bathroom, people are going to use their bathroom. If you have a public policy of return, people are going to use that. So just be prepared for that if you accept returns, you know. Um, it is good for the feedback protection, but if you just handle business, right, I feel like you don't really... I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I thought of accepting, I thought of switching it over, but I just don't want to deal with it, and then I, you got to ship it back, and then, I, it's like, my time's not replaceable, that's one thing, you can replace the item, give it back, but you can't replace my time, so with that being the case, that's one thing that I'm not really feeling about that, uh, not accepting returns, it, it's it's fine. It's a it's a seal of a deal. But okay, here's another one. When you don't accept returns, give as much possible information about that item as you can up front in the listing, so everybody knows. Don't be vague and you know have certain things that you're not saying. Like no, you want them to know everything because you don't you don't accept returns. You don't want them to say that. You know, let's say for example, I saw this is an issue I had some time ago. So I saw a pair of um, Nike Metcons, right? They're like real, they got like the little American flag stars on them. They're real cool shoes, right? I ended up selling them. The guy ends up giving me neutral feedback because he said it didn't say it came with no box, right? Now, this is stupid because I never said it came with a box. And they're used, it says used on there. So I'm not sure why he would assume. But let's just say, for example, you it doesn't come with a box and it's a spe it's just, it's a pair of like specialty release drop shoes whatever they call it right okay let's say if it doesn't come with the box it the person could use that as oh well it's not as described and it's probably would go for to your favor because you never said that but my point is that you want to put the most details up front in the listing as possible okay Another bad thing about accepting returns is that a lot of times, especially depending on what you're selling, a lot of people, like if you're doing like little electronics and stuff with like little motherboards and motors and all that stuff and these specialty remotes and small little um, expensive like $80 Christmas ornaments that's like, you know, people will do the switcheroo, you know. I believe that happened to me before. I had a pair of Seven Dwarves, uh, the Disney movie, the Seven Dwarves uh, uh, Christmas ornament set. It's in perfect, and it was perfect. Like it was perfect. I wrapped every one with so much bubble wrap. The box was huge, right? There, there's no, there's no way it would have. There's no possible way. And like it literally wasn't possible, unless that somebody just like stomped on it or something. Anyway, they said that it's broken, and then they sent me a picture of the broken article. The, the it was one of the slumpy, grumpy, whatever the doors, right? They sent me a picture. And it didn't even look, it looked old. The one that I sent him was like like new or almost new. I forget if, if it's new or almost new, but the one looked so dingy and dull. I'm like, man, I said, go ahead, man. I'm not going to hassle with you. Go ahead and keep it. Keep that. Yeah, go ahead. Here, here. here. Take your 40 bucks. So anyway, 
So that's another thing that you want to look out for when you're doing returns to the switcheroo. You get what I'm saying? They'll do the switcheroo on you. Um, I still, I feel like, this is just me, I feel like it's a lot less hassle when you don't accept returns and you let them know. And even in the listing, that's a good way. I personally don't do this because I don't want to like detour the buyer, but even when you let them know in the listing, that might be even a better idea. Like, look, so this is the listing overview, like, Upon this purchase, you will receive one uh, Reebok uh, crew neck short sleeve t-shirt, men's size, extra large, it is pre-owned, generally used, uh, remaining in good condition as you can see in the photos. Please message with any detail related questions and please refer to the photographs for exact measurements. That's when you put the yard today, right? At the bottom, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and put a second little part. Uh, I'd just like to advise all sales are final. We don't accept cancellations or returns. Be sure of your purchase before making it. Thank you. That would probably like alleviate a lot of our problems, but at the same time, it might detour some buyers too. Cause sometimes like, let's say you go look for some on eBay. You go look for, you know, uh, the bowl for your scale, right? And you type it in and you can refine your search. A lot of times people will just pr search up people who accept 30 day returns. You know what I'm saying? So that's, it could detour, but uh, me, I haven't had any major deterrent like for not accepting returns. So, uh, should you accept returns or not? I don't know, man. That's up to you. But there's good and bad in both. Me, personally, I find that it's better to not accept returns because you don't have to deal with too much hassle. So, anyway, I hope this been, uh, video was beneficial to you. It helps you out. If it does, please give me a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for viewing my video. Have a great day.